And if it's amazing, I just want to say what a perfect storm for us to have all the dupes I need to be able to get this encounter. So wait. Oh, snap. Uh, you want to head to the Kanto region? Oh my God, we're going to Kanto. Hey, kid. Who is this? Butterfree, go! Yo, whoa! What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. Pretty guys, another episode of our Pokemon Xenoverse Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you guys are hyped for this one, show some love. It's Monday, so we're back at it. I need you guys to keep smashing those like goals. Does the A Drive army have me? 6,000 likes. You guys already know it. I hope you guys are enjoying Xenoverse as much as I am. Listen, I took to the comments. I read a lot of the comments, and it was a tough decision. But this is the team that we're going to move forward with. Papercut returns to the team with the Rocky Helmet. Taught at Swords Dance as well. Terror's back on the team with that Trick Room, obviously. And Excalibur, a Rock and Fairy type. Gives us two fairies. Maybe not the best bet, but overall, I think this is really solid. I wanted to have a Fire uh, Resist, a another one besides Ryoko. And I think Excalibur gives us a lot of stuff. One thing we really lack, though, is like a, a Ground uh, Resist. Uh, or immunity. I mean we have Lancelot. That's that's where Lancelot really comes in a special type ground uh, attacker Could be really problematic for us, but either way we are gonna move forward We did just take on henna the fire type gym and I believe that there's a handful of places for us to explore now I'm not sure what team dimension is up to but they're definitely up to something I think we can surf south of here is where we would actually continue to now that we've got that Lapras um, so that's definitely an objective and then there's a couple other things I want to do So I'm gonna kind of hop around the map for a little bit and uh, just based on some of the comments that I read And then we'll shoot back here and we'll continue down to I assume this place or maybe over here, too I'm not sure I left this poor merchant behind at level 18 So I'm just gonna go steal his rare candy real quick. Sorry, buddy. Oh, he didn't even give me a rare candy Matt. Okay, so I'm actually on route 17 and this is an extension of what I'm assuming was Neutron City so yeah, I went south from here from Neutron and I guess I'm on 17 now and we're gonna head to Proxim Island and kind of the be beginning So I'm gonna do some exploring while I'm here. I might as well I'll train up some of the members of the team I think paper cut with leaf blade is probably a good bet here and we do obviously get an encounter now The good news is I'm pretty desperate for a water encounter at this point in the game I really don't have any water types outside of maybe Riptide in the PC and here we got Vanessa who's out here surfing with her Corsola that's pretty cool actually level 48 so we know levels are appropriate right now I, I think we're just gonna do a lot of exploring in this episode guys and there's a ton of stuff for us to look around so let's get that encounter here on this route and beat up some water types and kind of see where we net out and we're gonna learn x scissor but that's not gonna be very good for us and we got a dire hit here and we could in theory get a, an encounter in the grass but I'm really feeling like a water encounter is my best bet right now and our encounter is gonna be a Pelipper, which is actually a duplicate because we had a wingle earlier. So that's that's not gonna work for us and another Pelipper So that's super great. Maybe we'll try the grass encounter after all. I don't know I just I just really feel like I need a water type So maybe fishing is a good bet too and a dwebble in the grass. These are just dupes galore Give me something new and I found a Pelipper on land too. Like what are we doing with this? And it's gonna be an ink is our encounter at level 31 ink a little bit mad if I'm being honest But uh, you know, we'll catch it anyway. I think I'll probably just quick ball it and throw it in the PC Yeah, not exactly what I was hoping for definitely not we need water types But I think there's a few water routes coming up outside of Vegas City So we'll explore the rest of 17 see if there's anything cool and then we'll ultimately uh, You know get some more encounters and kind of progress. All right, we're gonna name her calamari There's no doubt she ever if she sees the light of day and gets out of that PC at any point in time, this this playthrough has gone horribly wrong. Okay, so we just came outside of here, which was 17, and now we're on Route 15. So there's a whole other route for us to explore. I'm going to keep looking at 17 because I feel like I might have missed stuff. But there is a whole other route for us to get an encounter. And here's a trainer. Let's see what you got. Someone just gave me the uh, Evolve form for Clan Pearl, so maybe someone's going to have Gory Base as well. Uh, they're going to have Ink. <laughs> <laughs> this little thing is so funny to me. I don't know. Uh, well, listen, I do have Swords Dance now, and I have Paper Cut. So, uh, in this context, I think I just clicked Paper Cut a few times. And I did, he was trying to, oh, he would've, he would've reversed my Swords Dance. It's a good thing I didn't do that. Uh, he's gonna foul play. Watch this, though. I think that's Contact. Yes, goodbye, Rough Skin and Rocky Helmet. 
Someone left a comment and it was such an accurate comment. It was basically like, A Drive, you definitely should consider, you know, having Paper Cut because of how good he is against the Xenoverse mons because of the way the, you know, taking damage works for HP. And I'm like, 100%, that's 100% true. I definitely need to ensure that I have Rough Skin Rocky Helmet on this thing and keep it on the team because those Xenoverse mons are the ones that really can completely ruin our playthrough. So that's that. Ooh, what is this? We got a TM out here, so this is probably the reason why we're on this route in the first place and an encounter, but it's probably just a dwell. Yeah, little rock. And boom, it's Roost, actually. Okay, um, why do I, I feel like I had Roost, but I guess not. I doubt anyone's really gonna learn Roost. Nobody can learn Roost. Okay, so here I am on 15, and I have a rappel down, so I'm not getting encounters, but is this a trainer? Yeah. I don't know what that little wishing well is. That's pretty interesting. That doesn't look like it's there for no reason. So my gut is that I should fish into it. The only thing is I only have the good rod or the, the, the bad one. I have not the good rod. I have the, uh, the old rod. So my gut is that I got to fish in there. What am I going to find in there? I don't know, but we're going to have to take a look for sure. All right. Herbert didn't give me any insight, but we're going to take a look. Can I fish into this? Well, let's find out. Oh, it's a den and I need shoe long for it. Well, that's unfortunate. We're not fishing, guys. I lied. Ah, with this super rod, even a fishing miscreant like you will understand what fishing really means. So we just got this super rod, which is very dope. That's actually super clutch. I was just talking about how we could use a new super or a new fishing rod. And I'm on route 16. So I still have an encounter for 16. I have an encounter for 15. I have two encounters. I think I got approximate encounter island, uh, encounter island, or brr, island encounter a long time ago. So I think what I am gonna do is I'm still using repel, but I'm gonna battle this last dude, explore the rest of this route, and then I'm gonna drop and uh, yeah, that should take us to Darkwall Island, I assume. Yeah. So we're all good, man. Let me battle this dude, and then I think we can get some fishing encounters with the super rod. I'm gonna do two fishing encounters with it, and obviously hope we don't get dupes. Um, and we'll see what happens. So let's battle this guy up. It should be a pretty easy battle. And then uh, we'll fish up some hopefully cool Pokemon. All right, what do we fish up? Oh, it's a Haunchin, but I already have a Haunchin. So I gotta fish something else up. I got really excited for a second though. All right, what do we got? It's a Gyarados. Okay, listen, I need water types. I'm not gonna be upset about a Gyarados. It's got Intimidate, which isn't bad. I mean, listen, we know Gyarados is an incredibly powerful Pokemon. So this is, there are worse things that I could find. There are worse things I could find. Shrimp, going to the PC for now. This is a Pokemon that I could see us utilizing later on though, if things get really bad. Uh, I can't even, oh, you know what though? I probably could Lava Plume him and it won't knock him out at this point. Yeah, that's fine. And we got the Gyarados, very nice. Let's take a look at it. Uh, you know, we know pretty much about Gyarados, but honestly, again, water flying very good. And this game has that massive weakness. We're gonna name you Shrimp. Has that massive weakness to sound though. So that's just something to be mindful of. But let's grab that next encounter on the next route. Yo, what is this? What did I just find? This is considered Route 15 and I have not gotten my encounter yet. We found an Edenberry and we found a spot Yo, we might be able to get a six Xenoverse Pokemon, guys. I'm actually really excited about it. I still have a Repel down though, so I have to let for that the, let that run. I was yeah, there it is. I was originally going to I was originally going to get a fishing encounter on 15, but I think we got to get this Xenoverse encounter. Let's grab this last berry and let's see what we're gonna get. And our encounter is gonna be a Dwebble. Go figure. <laughs> let's try it again. And our encounter is. A Pelipper, <laughs> go figure, dude. <laughs> How does this happen to me? Oh my God, we gotta get another one. And our encounter is gonna be. Really? All right, we'll, we'll see what we find. It's not a Pelipper or a Dwebble. That might actually be good though. We might be able to get something cool. Really? <laughs> this is a joke. I should probably knock these out. Well, there's an Ink. We might actually be really lucky guys because I'm calling Dupes Claws on everything here. So we might find whatever the Xenoverse Pokemon that's leaking from this tree is. All right, so I've been looking in this patch of grass for a while and all I've seen are Inkay, Malamar, Pelipper, Dwebble. I have to assume the last Pokemon is the Xenoverse Pokemon and I just hope it's not the Xenoverse Pukamuku and I just hope it's something that we've never seen before. So I'm gonna keep running around. It's gotta be a 1% encounter. It's gonna be here eventually. We're gonna find it. And if it's amazing, I just wanna say what a perfect storm 
for us to have all the dupes I need to be able to get this encounter. Oh, what is this? This is it! This is it! I've never had this happen! It's an L- Oh my god, of all the things! Of all the things! I have to just assume it's got there's got to be another one, right? Is that the only one? It's a dupes as well. Oh my god, I don't know. Guys! I have to keep looking and see if we can get another X encounter, guys. I don't know. I have to look. Another one! Please be different! What is it? It's another Elekid! That might be the only one here, guys. That might be the only one here. So, I, I am asking one of the developers right now. So, hold on. Let me get back to you. Okay, so I have confirmed that these trees only have one X species each. Which means that this Elekid is the only thing we can get in this patch of grass. So, what I'm going to do is Doob's Claws is an optional thing. It is an optional thing. You don't have to follow Doob's Claws. So, guess who is coming back to the squad, baby? Yes. It's time. It's time. We're doing it. We are doing it. We're going to catch this Elekid. And we are going to bring him back after he died in the Milky Way gym. We're bringing him back. We're going to nickname you. Time Wizard is back. He came back in time after dying. He just came back to us. And that is going to be our X encounter here. I think I, that was crazy, dude. I can't believe that's the thing I find. So I think I've hunted all of this stuff. I mean, I'm going to go to Hadwarf and we'll look around there too. But I've pretty much done all these routes now. I think maybe I could do some more exploring. But I think we pretty much want to head down south here because I really haven't done that. So let's head back to like our starting town maybe. Which apparently I can't fly to. Oh no, I'm not on that Pokebus. I'm gonna fly to that and we'll just explore a little bit there in case there's anything I could have missed out on. And then we'll head back to Vega. And here is Time Wizard. He has Aftermath and he's back once again. And honestly, I could probably evolve him uh, if I wanted to pretty easily too. And here is our original Time Wizard, level 13. Didn't quite make it very far, but I suppose I could evolve him. So let me see if I can do that really quickly. I might as well. Uh, we've also got obviously Shrimp here with it. Intimidate, decent. I mean, I don't, I don't mind that nature, to be honest, in a Nuzlocke. And then last but not least is Kalamalamari, which has Contrary, which is good. And that's pretty solid too. So let me try to evolve this thing. I, I think it evolves by level up and then it would evolve by a Magmarizer or a trade evolution thing. And then we would use something else. So let me just try to do that real quick. Actually, I have a rare candy. It's kind of a waste of rare candy, but for the purposes of just making my life easy, I want to see if I can do this right now. I have seven of them. Let's see if he does evolve at level 32. Yeah, so he is going to evolve into, into Magmar. But we assume this is an X magmar right? So let's take a look at him. And there is the X magmar Looks very cool, I'm not going to lie. And let's take a look at that guy now. And he still has Aftermath. Seems to be very fast. There's our X Electabuzz. And I believe we can evolve him with one of those trade items. Oh, I used the Xenolith to evolve Time Wizard. So wait. Oh, snap! I thought I had to evolve him into Electi Electivire first and then into this, but this is the special evolution. Oh my god! Electaburst? Hold up, let me look at this thing. Electaburst, bro? That looks insane. Fire and electric with levitate? Bro, fire and electric with levitate means he's not weak to ground. That's insane. Wow. Okay, well, the, the stars have aligned, the electabursts have aligned, and we have this very cool... Why is our PC just insane, by the way, all of a sudden? Ridiculous. I'm gonna keep exploring. All right, so I'm in Vega City still, and I do not recall us ever getting an encounter here in Vega. So I'm going to try to fish up an encounter and see if we can find anything other than, you know, Gyarados and the other dude. And there's a Gyarados, as expected. We'll keep trying. And a Clam Pearl, actually. Okay, listen, not upset about it. Clam Pearl's kind of a cool Pokemon. It can utilize some pretty cool things like Shell Smash and stuff. It involves an Agorabus and Huntail. And at this point, I'm just trying to stock up my PC just in case of an emergency. You just never know 
when you're gonna get wrecked and you're gonna need to construct a whole new team to deal with the gym leader or something like that. So I'll take the clam pearl and I have the item to evolve it. And we're gonna name you, we're gonna name you Bubbles. Cause why not? All right, we'll keep exploring outside of Vega now. All right, it looks like I can't actually leave Vega cause these guys are here. So I don't know what they're doing. We already got our encounter, so it doesn't really matter what this is. And it's of course a Pelipper again. But uh, these guys are causing us issues. So maybe I missed something inside of Vega. I don't know. I'll try to see if I can leave. Yeah, he's taking a nap. I don't know what's going on with him. I'm gonna throw down repels and I'll try to get out of here. Oh, this is where we go. We go to the old gym. This is the guy's son. I was waiting for you. I'll be real, I had no idea I had to come here. I was about to head to the casino to see if that's where I was supposed to go. I didn't watch the entire battle, but I've seen enough to convince me. You certainly have all what it takes to conquer the last gym badge. But you see, the gym leader that used to run the Vega gym has left without a trace. Oh, so the last gym is here. The Sunshine Gym was different. That was just a traveling gym. The gym leader, uh, and so the few trainers up to gym's seven gym badges gave up at the thought of looking for him. But I know where he is and I wanna share my secret with a young talent like you. With this, you can finally reach your sought after goal. Here you have. And he's gonna give me the air ticket. So we're going on a plane somewhere to some island probably. The gym leader of Vegas City retired to another region. You'll need a plane to reach him. Showing that ticket to the right person at the S Oak Airport will get you on a plane to that far land. I hope that with your genuine power, you can revive the warrior spirit of his. Yo, that's actually insane and not what I anticipated at all. <laughs> that's sick. Okay, well, let's go uh, hop on this plane and get out of here. Look, I'm a little bunny again. Oh, I see you have a ticket there. Please give it to me. Uh, you want to head to the Kanto region? Oh my God, we're going to Kanto. Let's do it. Bring me to Kanto, baby. This is about to be wild, dude. Diglett's kill. Tell me I'm actually in Kanto right now. Gonna give me a timer ball. This is actually crazy. We're in Vermilion City? No way, dude. This, they put an airport here. Oh my God, they're talking about Snorlax. And I'm gonna get the luck incense. Dude, we're, real, we're in Vermilion City, guys. What is going on with that? And there's a Snorlax blocking the way. That's sick. There's a phenomenon that allows Pokemon to go beyond evolution limits. Its name is Mega Evolution. Mega Evolution Xenoverse confirmed. I'll take my rare candy though, thank you. And something tells me that that's the gym right there that we're gonna explore, but I wanna explore the rest of Vermilion first. So this guy, the chairman of the Pokemon fan club is looking for a specific item. I think it's like a diorama or something. If we come across that, let me know in the comments. This guy's got a golem. I think this path is destined to other trainers, kid. Yeah, so it doesn't look like we can go much further here in uh, in this region, but they did say something about getting an encounter, so maybe I actually can get an encounter, but perhaps I should check the gym first. I don't know, I don't wanna like waste my encounter. The guy said that I could I can't surf where I was, but I could surf somewhere else maybe by the beach. So I don't know, we'll have to figure that out. All right, we're cutting down the tree. Let's see what's going down in here. And I just realized if this is Surge, I probably don't want Vibrato in the front, if I'm being honest. We can we can leave with Lancelot, I guess. And it's the Vermilion Gym, but it's all messed up. There's not a whole lot going on here. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna get an encounter in here or not, but I feel like I probably will. Hey, kid. Who is this? Don't you have anything better to do than to come looking for an old geezer like me? Actually, you see, I know exactly why you're here. You want my badge, don't you? Since my retirement, I've only seen a few kids willing to come this far. Even though I decided to give up everything, I've never left my occupation in the Elden region, unlike I did here in Kanto a long time ago. Not for some reason, but I don't want to leave vac vacancies, that's all. The determination I used to have by now is burned out and just made me an old man living in his memories. My appearance as well as my being here, tell the whole story. Surge? Is that an old Surge? Look at me. Look how exonerable passage of time has made me. If it is Surge, if it was up to me, I'd hand you over the badge like lightning, but procedures impose me to challenge you. It's not like I want to, but get a move on and battle me. It's up to you whether to decide you take off all your strength. Uh. I didn't know I was battling the gym leader. And he's got a Magneton. I've got Lancelot. Um, I did not know that I was battling the gym leader. Okay, well, I'm clicking Earthquake. He's faster. And we're gonna take a big hit there. I'm gonna get an Earthquake off, hopefully he doesn't have Sturdy. 
He does have sturdy, of course, which means I gotta switch out. I assume he goes for a flash cannon again, which means I could go paper cut, hopefully. This is not a good matchup for me at all. Like, I do not do well against this gym at all. Um, I can't go Fibrato, obviously. This is not what I expected. Um, why don't I go to... I just have to hope he flash cannons. I'm gonna go paper cut. Oh, he's gonna switch out and go cling clang. Okay. Which is crazy because I would have just done so much damage to him. But I don't think cling clang can do that much to me. So I'm gonna swords dance and see what he wants to do. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna mirror shot me. That's a special attack. Okay, it doesn't do too much. What if I night slash you? How much am I gonna do with this? Not a lot. He's gonna mirror shot me again. Okay, so I probably have to heal. Yeah, and he gets an accuracy drop, which isn't the end of the world. Um, why don't I hyper potion up and heal? Uh, I could also go vibrato. The problem is with that is then I'm in a bad spot too. Yeah, he just mirror shots again. He misses this time. Okay, this is my opportunity to switch out then. I'm gonna go vibrato. Obviously, if he goes for an electric move, I'm weak to it though. He's gonna mirror shot, but we resist this, so that's okay. And I'm gonna Lava Plume. He's faster, that's a really fast Kling Klang. He's level 51, jeez, dude. Okay, I got rid of Kling Klang. All right, what do you got next? Magnazone. So, the thing is, I can knock him out with Earthquake, but I don't know if he's gonna have Sturdy or not. Oh, and if he goes for an electric move, he kills Fibrato, so that's not even an option. I think I have to go Ryoko, bait, bait the steel move, weaken him, and then swap. And if he magnet rises too, I'm in trouble. He goes for Thunderbolt, that's probably the best case scenario. I can take it. I have to pretty much go Dragon Breath to break his sturdy if he has it. And then I gotta predict, oh, he had an air balloon. Oh, that all worked out. We tank that. Okay, I have to predict the flash cannon and go Fibrato and hope he does not Thunderbolt me. This is not how I wanted this to go. He's gonna flash cannon. All right, now I can earthquake because we popped his balloon. So we're gonna, we're gonna earthquake. All right, this should knock out the Madness Zone. It's four times super effective. Okay, good. That was good. Oh my god, this is a scary battle, dude. And here comes Magneton. Now, we are assuming... Oh, I can Jet Strike. Okay. That's gone. And that's three down, two to go, I think. Here comes a Raichu. What is that Raichu? Oh, guys, this is very bad. This is very, very bad. I, I don't even know what type he is. I think, is he steel type? This is like a steel type surge, right? He's like a steel type gym leader. I don't wanna just get blown back with paper cut either. Uh, ooh. Excalibur, it might be your turn to come in. I need a free switch into terror is what I need. And I think that means I have to sack off Excalibur to do it. I'm gonna go Excalibur. Maybe he goes for an electric move and we tank it. He goes for a Volt Switch, okay. There goes my my Sturdy though. And he's gonna go into Blingrin, which is a Steel type. We know this is a Steel type and it's Steel and Poison. I don't think he's electric. Let's go Paper Cut. And he's gonna Iron Head. Oh, okay, that's real. Oh my God, that was not really good. Holy shenanigans, that did so much damage. Okay. I'm gonna use my second Hyper Potion of the battle on Paper Cut right now. I almost feel like I need to heal up Fibrato as well. Let me heal up Paper Cut first. This is my second one, I think. And he's gonna knock off, which is resisted, but I lose my helmet, that's fine. Okay. I am actually feeling like one of the best things I can do right now is Hyper Potion up um, Ryoko, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And that's my last potion, so. Yeah, that does so much. I have to switch out. I, I have to switch into something that can take an iron head. Um, which really isn't much. I can't. 
What takes an iron head? If I don't have any more potions. Because Papercut can't beat him. I don't think I let Papercut go down here. I think if anything, I let Excalibur go down. If I have to let something go down, because I have two other rock types that I could utilize. And then I think I get Terror in for free click. Oh, he's got knockoff. I can't even do that. I can't even get Terror in. What I can do though, is I can maybe go Terror. Oh, dude. Um, go, I can't go Fibrato. Ryoko is very risky to take an Iron Head to the face. This is not a good scenario. And I don't even have my Rocky Helmet anymore. Um, and I'm not gonna do any damage to him. Uh, do I let Excalibur go down and then go Fibrato hope I outspeed? That's not gonna be the play. I don't know if going Ryoko is the play either. I need to get Terror in against the Raichu is my, for free, and I don't know if that's an option without letting stuff go down right now. Uh, I can't go Fibrato right now either, although I want to so bad. I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna go Fibrato and hope I outspeed and go for... Go for Lava Plume? Oh my god, this is so risky! The Iron Heads! I tank it like a boss. I'm going for Lava Plume. I'm faster! I knock out the Blind Grudge. Okay, okay. One left, and it's the Raichu. And we know it's gonna go for an electric move, most likely. Okay. So I'm gonna go Ryoko here and see what he wants to do. He's level 53. Now I'm at full health now. He's gonna gear grind. Okay. Okay. That's okay. I am going to Dragon Breath, try to snag a para. He's gonna gear grind again. Okay. Para. I don't get the para. Okay, so I have to, I basically have to um, deal with this gear grind now. So, I think my play is Terror and then Trick Room and then I should be slower than it and then I beat it with Lancelot. I think that's my play. I'm just really afraid of how much damage he's gonna do to me. Your gear grinds, I need a miss, dude. Okay, well we take that pretty well. I think I could take a Thunderbolt and I have leftovers, so I should be able to get a Trick Room up. It's all about getting up a Trick Room right now. He Meteor punches me. Okay, I tank it, but he gets an attack boost and that means something's dying. I get the Trick Room off, but something's gonna die now. Um, that's, that's really what that means. Um, I am gonna Shadow Ball and hit him really hard. Maybe he's super frail and he one-shot him. Not even close, not even close. And he's gonna Meteor Punch me, and Terror lives on a sliver! Terror lives on a sliver, Shadow Ball for the win! I just big brain that gym, let's go! Oh my God, I didn't even know that was about to be a gym battle, and we beat it. Wow. Well, I don't care how much effort you did put in, here's your payoff for taking the trouble to come this far. And we got our eighth badge, didn't expect it. The honor badge from Surge, the new steel type gym. That rusted piece of junk is the old badge of my longtime gym here in Kanto. I renamed it the honor badge to remind me of the value of those memories. Ugh, why am I getting lost in chatter with a pint sized brat like you? You got what you wanted, get out of my face now, go away. What, my arm? You're such a nosy tyke. If you really got nothing else to do, I'll tell you what led me to end up like this. Years ago, I served within Team Rocket. I had legions of grunts under my command and everyone knew me as the terrible Lieutenant Surge. I was fighting for a man whom I held in very high esteem, Giovanni. It was a dream until a brat about your age messed everything up. The boss had to dissolve the organization he set up and I found myself alone again, as during war when all my comrades got killed. However, the spirit of the warrior was still burning within me. I therefore decided to join the army of a distant region that was recruiting soldiers to engage in a conflict against its neighbors. It had to be a blitzkrieg, but instead it lasted longer than those who caused it ever expected. Food stocks started running low when we had to split between comrades with whom started to develop a fraternal bond. But war never changes, that's true. One of the comrades fell into the trap of the enemies and I tried everything using a shocking attack move. That same, the same that way back then saved my skin more than once. 
that time it failed. My enemies were ground type Pokemon. After neutralizing my attack, they replied using rock type moves and devastated us. We had no chance. Myself, I got away with just an arm, but my brother in arms, Raichu, it was unrecognizable. That comrade I had been trying so hard to save was gone straight off, though. Then I blacked out due to the massive blood loss. Meh. However, someone rescued us, took care of me and my Pokemon, and cursed me with this new robot arm. After several days, I woke up from my coma and went on a rampage. I'd rather die on the battlefield than carry the heavy burden of failure on my shoulders. There and a man, probably the boss of all those glasses down there, stood in front of me. He proposed me a major role within the organization he was setting up, calling it the Phoenix Rose from the Ashes of Team Rocket. I refused, obviously. Team Rocket was done and gone without Giovanni. But I couldn't tolerate what they had done to me, so I decided to run away with my Pokemon. But my Raichu was uh, anything but the one I remembered. They told me its condition was critical, they had to insert it within its body, mechanical parts to bring it back to life. Those eggheads were calling it Artificial Specimen Zero. All I knew was I couldn't forsake a fellow, so I took it with me and ran off to that laboratory. After all that happened, I had nothing left in the world. Nothing but this gym, now consumed by time. It remained deserted since I left my position of Vermilion City's gym leader. To get involved full-time in the same role in my homeland, Eldiv. I decided to come back here, and since this old shack has basically been my home. It brings me the memory of the glorious past I could never forget. What a sad story, eh? It's pretty sad, bro. Uh, but I just, I'm just interested in the Raichu if you want to give me that. I'm just trying to save the world. Ah, I'm looking for my dad. Yes, sir. Uh, and he's gonna give me TM72, which is... Volt Switch, maybe? Uh, it's Volt Switch. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Alright, I really sang over. If the old me heard this, I'd he'd have a roaring laugh. So is that, is that the end? Hey, you listen up! What was the organization that kidnapped your father again? Team Dimension, huh? Sometimes fate deals some people a rotten hand, you see. It was Team Dimension that made me like this. I happen to remember exactly where its hideout is. How could I forget it after all? You want me to tell you, don't you? Well, you may not be very smart to think you could break in the enemy outpost, or you've got guts of steel, kid. If you're willing to compete your mission so bad, I'm gonna tell you. In my hometown, Vega, near my old gym, you can find the casino. I knew it was the casino. A real heaven for gamblers, fat cats, and for Team Dimension 2. Pay attention, there's a hidden passage inside there, probably shielded by some grunts, leading down to Vega City's underground. When you'll be down there, it's up to your ingenuity and hunch to find their hideout, but I'm sure you'll get it done. Watch out, kid, the truth might be a tough pill to swallow. All right, well, that's some pretty crazy stuff, and we get out of a gym battle once again unscathed. How? I really don't know, but we got through it. Shout outs to Terra setting up that trick room. Proving it's worth once again. The apple doesn't far fall from the tree. Far fall from the tree, huh, Silver? The apple doesn't far fall far from the tree, huh, Silver? Silver? As in the bad dude from Gold and Silver? Don't spoil in the comment section, people. Interior crocodile alligator. I ride a shiny for alligator. Interior crocodile alligator. I'm riding a shiny for alligator. Type it in the comment section if you're with me. Hit that like button on the way down. We're going back to Cluster Jungle because apparently, apparently, that I can go and get something really cool. Apparently, if I do the hard mode of that challenge that I wanted to poke my eyes out on the other day, well, guess what? I apparently get something cool. So we're gonna do it. Let's do it. I'm back to take on the hard challenge, please. I'm gonna use the Donanas. I have the Donanas, let's go. I will do the hard one. Okay, here we go, Donanas. Take me places I've never been before. Hard mode, Donanas. Ah, I know why it's the hard mode one now. I have to beat every single Pokemon that I fight. That's why it's hard mode, you can't run. And I have no way. Wow, this is rough. This is rough, dude. You really gotta battle every single thing that you fight to get through this without letting your Donanas faint. This is gonna be rough, guys. Oof. The things I do for you guys. <laughs> all right, we got the first one, the golden totem's beak. But now I gotta go all the way back. 
Okay, so at first I thought this challenge was gonna be more or less impossible because they don't give you your items, but you actually do get the opportunity to pick up Lepa Berries and stuff like that, Oka Berries from wild Pokemon. So I think the biggest thing that scares me at this point is running into a Passimian because if it hits me with a fighting type move, it could potentially knock me out. Uh, everything else so far hasn't been too threatening, but I definitely see the uh, challenge here. And Arbok with Intimidate is very annoying because it makes you attack a lot. Um, but so far, I've gotten pretty good through the challenge. A flinch there is nice. He does have a berry, but it looks like it's two a KO because I leveled up. So like I said, as long as we can avoid Passimians, I think Dodonas can do this here. And we got the Do Golden Totem's feet. So that's two of three items down on the Donana's challenge. And I feel like we're doing okay right now. I feel pretty confident at this point that I can beat this. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. We found a Scoville. And this is where things get very sketchy really fast. Um, okay, I'm at least two-shotting him. And he flame bodies me. He's gonna torment me. Um, uh, okay. That flame body might just cost me this whole run. He torments me again. Oh, I thought I just lost the whole run, dude. I was about to be really annoyed. It's been like 25 minutes. But luckily those berries I picked up. Now I did give Donatus an Oka Berry uh, to protect it, but those berries that I picked up, very clutch right now because I do have a Lum Berry to clear that burn off. And I need to just make sure I do not run into another Scoville. Oh my God, the next encounter is a Scoville. Is this a joke? Are they just, they just chilling here? Oh my God, please don't fire move. Flame burst, Oka Berry, please. He crits me. Dude, you gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. I legitimately just did the whole trial and then I lost at that Scoville at the end. Two Scovilles in a row and he crits me. You gotta be kidding me. I'll try again. I can't believe that though. I'm so annoyed. All right, Golden Sodom's Beat got the first one. A Chansey, that's the first time I've run into a Chansey. I hope it drops something good because I definitely could use a little extra help here. Um, the first run I was able, that's nice. The first run I was able to find a lot of really good stuff. I'll take the XP, no item. Uh, I have not found an Oka Berry this time and I do not have any Lepa Berries this time or the Lum Berry. So the first run, and there's a Carnivine now. The first run, I found all the good stuff that I needed, and now I'm not finding it. So I might have to go back to that first area. And another Scoville, and I don't have the berry. I really just got so unlucky, dude. Like, I really just got so unlucky that I would find Scoville two times in a row right when we were about to win it. And he's I get lucky this time because he's going to seed bomb me, and I could beat this one. But I'm really annoyed at that. Like, we had the challenge beat, and then I got hit with two Scovilles in a row, bro. Ugh. All right, we got the golden totem's feet. But again, this, this run is looking pretty grim. I don't have any good items right now. And that has me very nervous. And a Scoville again. I wonder if you just only find Scovilles after you have two things because this is just busted. Like, how am I supposed to beat this thing every single time when he one-shots me? Yeah, there's the flame burst. And we lost again. Oh, wait, Donata's living on just a sliver. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, there's hope. There's hope, not much, but there's hope. Ay ay ay, dude. Ay ay ay. Well, maybe maybe it isn't always Scoville and I'll run into something normal. If it's Scoville again, we lose. Okay, it's Arbok. Then it's not always Scoville. I just have really bad luck apparently. And I just picked up a Lepa Berry from the Arbok. That was very big actually, because that allows me to replenish my Iron Heads, which is good. Okay, I just have to get to that chest without getting hit with a Scoville. I think I did it! I think I did it! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, that was that was something else, team. That was something else. My I am the I am the Donanas master, by the way. I just if you have not destroyed the like button for the Donanas King. If I had a handful of bananas right now, I'd put them on my head and make it out of a crown because I am the Donanas King. Here is my reward and I obtained a Donanas! Another Donanas! We're gonna name this Nanners. With two Z's! I really, you really just gave me another Donanas? That's what I get out of this? Yeah. <laughs> you mean to tell me I just did all that for another Donanas? 
I, I am very sad. <laughs> so many donanas, not enough time. Oh, hey, Henna, what are you doing back here? Look who's here, how's it going? Oh boy. Cue the chatter, I already know everything. Grandpa said he'd send you to that old gym leader. I have a small favor to ask. I had this egg behind the stage of the Sunshine Circus. I take care of it so it grows up to be a wild member on stage, but unfortunately I don't have time for it. You wanna take it? Yeah! Oh, I gotta go get it a space in my party, guys. About to give me an egg, let's get it, dude. Oh, he's a shiny, he's a shiny don't on us! And he's got shell armor instead of iron barbs, which means he can't be crit. I don't know if that's better or worse. And he's got a plus attack nature minus speed, which isn't bad. He has synthesis instead of roost, which we can change. Trop kick is really good. Dude, I feel like nanners might be worth, guys. Like, on the real. Like, here's our other nanners. I'll replace one with the other. They're static, so it's fine. Um, we'll put him in there. But I feel like nanners could be really worthwhile. I don't know. I want to go find out what this egg is as well. And I'm going to get the egg. Wait, how do I get it? You said there's an egg behind the circus? She didn't give me the egg, though. Oh, she did give me the egg. All right, it doesn't seem close to hatching. All right, well, I'll try to hatch it. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I'll ride back and forth and see what happens, I guess. Big brain, he's got flame body. Oh, it's hatching, all right, let's get it. That was pretty quick, dude, flame body. Is it gonna be a Marini? Is it gonna be like a circus Marini? It's a Litten! Okay. I mean, I didn't expect a Litten of all things, but sure, I'll name it. We'll name it Marvin. After my man Marvin. You guys don't know about Marvin. Marvin is the number one cheer and give sub giver of all time in the A drop army. Does it have intimidate? It has blaze. Well, at least they bred its special defense stat well. I feel like this is a surprising side of they Pokemon. All right, guys. Well, here's the deal. There's a garbage can right here. And I never checked it. I did check it, apparently. As you can probably see, Alice and Aster and her peak are chilling there. So it's time on the next episode of Pokemon Xenoverse. Hit that like button down below, guys, if you enjoyed this one. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. There's new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If you guys smash that like goal, of course, you guys already know, we'll get that bonus episode for you guys. So we got a lit in, not exactly what I was hoping for. But boy, oh boy, our PC is looking ridiculous right now. Like, I'm not even sure what to do with what we have. We have so many really cool Pokemon, and we have to head into, I'm assuming, the sewers and everything else. So let's do it. Let me know any thoughts that you need me to catch up on for the next episode, and I'll see you guys then. My name is Dan, I also go by A-Drive. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Oh, if you guys enjoyed this video, check out this one right here. Otherwise, you should totally check out this video. They're both awesome, you're pretty awesome, and I'll see you guys on the next one.